Hello, my internet friend. How are you? Uh, Trey Reckliff. I'm here in my studio in New Zealand. And I thought I would show you uh, this cool trick with Luminar. Okay, it's my favorite new tool for editing photos. I think it's loads better, heaps better, as they say here in New Zealand, than Lightroom. And I thought I would use it on this photo of uh, Carrie Ann, my friend uh, in uh, Fort Lauderdale, uh, to show you this feature called lookup tables that allows you to change dramatically the way the, the photo looks, all right? Now, you might notice uh, she has kind of a big butt. I think this is popular nowadays, I don't know. I notice that like when I eat extra pizza and my butt gets bigger, it's not that attractive. So I think it's really a case by case basis. All right. Um, so if you get tired of looking at all the controls, you can just, you know, admire this Boheine. I'll put her Instagram down below. Uh, her and her boyfriend came out to join me for a, a fun photo shoot in Fort Lauderdale. And um, so the normal photo, let me slide this thing back. Um, was okay. All right. It's uh, let me slide this little slider back. It's fine, right? But I want to give it like a little bit of a feel, you know, like an old school feel, like it could have been shot like in the 60s or something, you know? And the way you do that is with this thing called LUT, uh, lookup table. I don't know who named this thing, but it's not a very user-friendly name. I think a lot of people are afraid to use it because they don't know what it means. Obviously, this is named by engineers. But anyway, the way, the way you find it here, you can go to add filters, okay? And these are all the different filters you can find in here. Uh, be sure to watch some of my other videos. Like I've got this one on, um, on the uh, sun rays, uh, this filter right here, which is unbelievable. I'll link to that down below. That's one of my favorite tools. Uh, but in this case, we're using LUT mapping, okay? Which is under professional. All right, you can see what we have the tool right here, LUT mapping. Um, and I have chosen this one lookup table called Smokey. Okay, there's all kinds of different ones down here. Okay, let's just click on a few of them to see. Uh, here's one called Ushuaia. Okay, and this has a, a little bit more of a, a subtle look. You can see that kind of the before and after. Uh, but I like that one too. You can see also what it's done. If you look at the color of her swimsuit, which is pure black, is it's kind of brought like a light blue into that. Okay, so it's a, there's no real blacks anymore um, in that case. Um, let's try another one um, here underneath. Uh, we click this thing, drop down. Um, by the way, I hear there's a lot more LUTs coming, so you can have all kinds of different looks in here. Um, this Beijing one is kind of nice. Um, so look at the before and after on that. It looks pretty cool. Um, there's another one here that I quite like, and it depends on the photo, of course. A uh, wooden, which sounds kind of boring, like it wouldn't look that good, but I like it, right? It's got sort of a classic feel. Um, something about these always uh, feels a bit uh, timeless, and I, I like that effect quite a bit. Um, let me show you one other little trick you can do here. Let me go down here to um, something that I know is a little over the top, like a color punch hot, okay? So you see this one is super hot, right? And like kind of way over the top. So it's, if it's too over the top, uh, be sure to go down here and adjust the amount, okay? Because you don't have to go full 100%. Because, you know, I think most people would agree that's a little too much. But maybe take it down to, you know, um, 60% or something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So very, very powerful. So in a lot of ways, I find it to be more, more powerful than just a simple uh, preset because you do have control, you know, over contrast and saturation and the amount right here all together. Right? Yeah. So just have a good time playing with this thing. You can come up with your own looks uh, just by adjusting these two other sliders. Um, here, I'll go back to my favorite one, uh, which was Smokey, um, all at 100% uh, with a little bit more... Uh, contrast in there. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right, you guys. Well, uh, be sure to jump over to my uh, YouTube channel. I've got all kinds of quick tips and tricks in there. Uh, all kinds of stuff on Luminar. I'll put links down below so you can get Luminar and um, all kinds of good stuff. All right, you guys. Well, I love you and I'll see you in the next tip zone.